Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot and I am so excited because after five years we can finally say that Epcot is complete. Construction has closed and Communicore is set to open tomorrow but Disney invited me out to give you guys a sneak peek and to make a little video and I'm so excited to share all my experiences with you. On top of that, we're going to rope drop Pandora and have a little breakfast and see the world of Pandora basically empty and be able to ride some rides before uh, the guests come into the park. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's so awesome to be able to say that I'm going to have breakfast in Pandora before the park opens, but we're making our way back there now. I can't wait to see it, like, because usually I've only ever seen it with just crowds of people and now like we're walking in it's literally just just us right here for now like this is so amazing seeing pandora empty like this now you can do this yourself all you have to do i mean is rope drop pandora it just requires getting up super early in the morning but if you're here bright and early in the morning and you're like the first 20 people you get escorted right down to pandora just like you saw and you get to see it all empty like that and walk on any of the rides like that's that's like a crazy and i'm just happy that i'm here to be able to like share my experiences with you guys thank you disney for inviting me and like just being able to give me the, the opportunity to capture this content so people can enjoy because it's something that I picture and dream in my head and now I get to like record it and share it with you guys. Welcome. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sound, smell, the whole thing. Hey, 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 everyone! Welcome to Pandora! Wow! <laughs> Welcome, my friends! Good morning! Good morning! Welcome. How are you? Hey, I'm fantastic! Yeah. How are you, my friend? Oh, fantastic! Hey. Okay. Take a close look here. This is the early morning footprints. This is the mighty Thanator. And as you can see, it's cutting that way. You see a lot of early morning footprints around in this Watch area. the footprints! We've got the hammerheads here. As you walk through, be very careful. We're trying to preserve these footprints, okay? You want to step over it. Let me see you step over it. There's a pretty big oh. feet. There, you got it. Well nice. done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I might have stepped on it. <laughs> It's so cool that they have like character performers walking in as we were walking in and they were like pointing out they were like explorers and I thought that was awesome. They need to have a lot more of that in the parks. I miss the citizens of uh, uh, Main Street and I miss the Hollywood Studios uh, characters that used to roam around there. They need to bring that back. <laughs> Pandora completely empty. Oh, there are the mountains. Navi River Journey is only a five minute wait. Wait a second, how is it five minutes? Oh, and there it is. This is the shot I've been looking for. Wow. Really something else seeing Pandora like this. Look at the sun starting to actually beam on the floating mountains. Wow, what a shot. This is so cool being able to see it all like this. And I'm happy that I get to share it with you guys too because, I mean, <laughs> like just to be able to have this area up here by yourself is probably, like you would have to sit here for hours. This is all part of a whole weekend long media event with Disney called This Is Magic. And it's basically showcasing all of the new things in the parks coming soon. We're gonna be able to see Encanto, the new performance that they have later uh, at Epcot, see the Communicore, go in to Mickey and Friends and see the meet and greet where you can actually see Mickey, Goofy, and Minnie. And uh, it's gonna be amazing, like I'm so excited. And it also leads into Tiana's Bayou adventure the new drone show so we're gonna have a fun festive weekend and hopefully lots of videos to share and what a way to start we can actually use the drums Ooh, not that one 
breakfast isn't until 7 30 so we have time to ride the rides i think i'm gonna go on navi river and then flight of passage and it's crazy to think that i'm probably be able to do both of those rides in 30 minutes and then grab some breakfast and it's really cool because it's like a pandora inspired breakfast and i mean i'm excited it sounds something like fancy it's so cool seeing the sunrise it's uh it's not even 7 a.m yet holy moly that's crazy i can't believe that it's 7 a.m and i'm riding uh navi river right now like that's mind-blowing to me i know that i've seen a lot of people do this before in the past but this is my first time ever seeing pandora empty and i'm just like a kid in a candy shop i'm just like oh wow it's so beautiful <laughs> nobody's in queue I mean, I think everyone's going to ride Flight of Passage, but I like the fact that this is a walk-on right now. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. There's actually nobody at all. Hi! Just one? Wow! <laughs> I can't believe like there's nobody going to be riding this ride with me. <laughs> Can I take the front row? <laughs> Look at this! I love this! Oh. Nobody else is watching the animatronic with me. Well, that was so cool. I can't believe I'm going to be able to say I rode like Navi River completely by myself. You know what I mean? It's crazy that the animatronic is in there doing its thing and nobody's riding the ride. Like nobody's even in line right now. So when I came through, like when I came through, uh, I was like, it was like the animatronic was just like moving for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, wow. And I had like all of its attention. <laughs> I think we're gonna make our way down to Satuli Canteen because that's where they're having breakfast. Grab something to eat. I'll ride Flight of Passage later. I just wanna take this all in, you know what I mean? I can come back and ride Flight of Passage. I mean, of course it's a walk-on right now, but like just to be able to walk around, look at everything. I am not too sure if this food is ever going to be available, if this is just for the media event, but it's just cool to be able to say I'm having breakfast in Pandora, and like I said, anybody can rope drop and come to, you know, Pandora and be the first to see it, but it just requires getting up early in the morning, but I'm really loving this, and it's a great way to start the day. Like, I'm having a great time. <laughs> They have a nice little breakfast buffet set up in Satuli Canteen. Eggs, tater tots. You've got uh, Jake Sully beef steam pods. Oh, these are the beef ones with tomato gravy. And then the vegetable ones are the green ones. You got them sausage and the bacon. And I think there's more uh, treats on the inside too. Looks like they got some Pandora cinema buns or Pandora buns. Yuzu or Yuva fruit muffins. Oh, actually, all this looks really cool. And it all fits like the Pandora theme. And I bet you they've got, uh, they definitely got the pog juice here. I didn't want to eat too much because it's still early in the morning and we got a long day. But uh, look, I got a little, I don't know what they are. It's like a little blueberry muffin. But uh, it's like a muffin top. And 
Oh, a little blueberry muffin thing. Overnight oats with berries from Dr. Grace's lab. This is really cool. It's all off of uh, Pandora. I like overnight oats. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits here in Animal Kingdom. It's starting to get so hot and humid. Like, uh, it's like super, super hot. I'm gonna head back to the hotel and relax for a little bit, but we're gonna switch over to Epcot and uh, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna show you Communicore, Mickey and Friends, and all the cool things that you're gonna be able to see and experience soon in the parks. Pocahontas is taking people through the animal kingdom pointing out animals and different plants that's so cool wow <laughs> you don't see that every day this is a great feeling i haven't taken the buses in a while i like the buses it makes me feel like i'm on vacation i just wish i had my refillable mug Good morning. oh boy the ac is pumping Woo. This feels amazing. Oh. Oh, I'm telling you, it is hot. And it's not even getting to the hottest point of the day yet because uh, it's still early in the morning. I think it's like 9, 9.30 in the morning. It is super hot out today. In fact, there's a heat advisory. I think uh, the last time I checked, the temperature was 99 degrees. But look at those skies. Blue skies and sunshine. I am just so excited for Epcot not to be under construction. Like, it's amazing that it's been this long. You know what I mean? There's been walls, and we used to have to walk around Spaceship Earth. We couldn't walk through it, and today is finally the day. Wow, you can see the walls are down. Mickey and Friends Festival favorites. Communicore Hall over there. It looks so cool. Wow, I am so excited for this. I love the artwork already, too. Epcot has been under construction since 2019, and it's just crazy that I've been witnessing this transformation over these years, making these videos, and seeing it all come to an end. I remember seeing the Epcot Preview Center, and uh, losing Future World in the Electric Umbrella, Guardians of the Galaxy opening up, uh, the Moana uh, uh, attraction opening up, the walls everywhere, then like building it up, and like, it's just like, all coming together and I, honestly it's amazing since 2019 that's m so many years and like you know some of the things I'm just so excited like Guardians of the Galaxy was amazing I love the lights on Spaceship Earth I was so afraid we were gonna lose Club Cool but it's still here and I love that it's got like the glass bottom like on the the floors it's all crushed up coca-cola bottles I'm gonna muse I'm gonna miss future world but oh, man I'm excited I'm excited to just see it all lit up and people walking through and just using pathways <laughs> like, <laughs> we're gonna finally be able to explore inside Communicore Hall and I like I said it's just great to see without all the walls up and just seeing the buildings I absolutely love the way they look they have fancy like like a fancy Epcot look to them Inside Communicore, they're gonna have Mickey and friends. You're gonna be able to meet Mickey and a lot of his friends, and it's uh, such a great uh, and actually needed uh, Mickey meet and greet because right now they have them up in the Land Pavilion, and this is where you could see a bunch of like characters all in one spot. And this used to be here, and it was very popular. It had a, a hard to get fast pass, and this is even gonna be a Lightning Lane selection because a lot of people are gonna want to come to it, and then they're gonna have some spots where you can try some food. And and we're gonna go into the uh, the uh, plaza area where we're gonna see the new Encanto show. So like, there's a lot happening just inside those buildings, but I'm just excited. I'm just gonna share all my experiences with you guys and kind of just enjoy it too for myself. <laughs> There's a good portion of the whole area that's covered where they have performances here and they have a special Encanto performance that they do. And then they have festival favorites and then Mickey and Friends over here. And this is where the Lightning Lane and the standby entrance is gonna be. And I think uh, I think I can hop in. So I might go in, hop in line to go see Mickey and Friends. The artwork in the queue here is amazing, especially right now at the sunset. Wow, look at, that is so beautiful. 
Oh, I kind of really love it. I'm not too sure if it's fully ready, but it's cool to be able to just see inside. You know what I mean? I kind of miss the old buildings that are here. There's something about them, the smell and stuff like that. This is something that's completely uh, like, you know, constructed from ground up and uh, it's going to be like different. You know what I mean? Seriously, like this is a very popular thing and when people are in a long line, you got to have something for them to look at that's, you know, eye-catching and it kind of just makes you, you know, not be so antsy. This is nice. I can stare at this forever. Even you, goof. Wow, look at this. I'm loving the lighting in here. This is so cool. Okay. <laughs> And I like the spaceship Earth right here. Well, look at this. She got Mickey, Goofy, Minnie. Wow, oh, wow, this is actually really nice in here. Hi, Mickey, how are you? Can we take a photo? There we go. And then you move down. Hey Goof, how are ya? I'm just gonna make my way, make my way around. Uh, hope you tell Maxie I said hi. Uh, can we get a photo together? There it is. Thanks Goof. Now Minnie. I really like this, how you just go like one, two, and three. It's a good time But it's nice to see you Minnie. I like the new area, I like the background, I like the monorail. It's very fancy. That was so cool. I probably sped through there, but I got to see Mickey, Goofy, and Minnie just like right in the world. I was like bing, bing, bing. And I had people behind me. This has a, like an echo in here. Echo! Oh, there's people out there. Oh, sorry. Communicore Hall is open right here and there's a little like event happening, but it's really just nice to see the space, you know what I mean? And see everything for the first time, look at that in here. World discovery, world nature, world celebration, world showcase, and then you got little food things all over the place. Here is the Communicore Plaza, and I, I'm sure these tables aren't gonna be here, but you can see it's got that beautiful stage and the lights, and it's very nice. And they're actually doing a show soon, so I think I'm gonna go up and show you guys the show. This is gonna be all open to the public. You're gonna be able to just walk around. I wish I can show you more of the Communicore Hall, but I did get to show you Mickey and friends, and that was really cool seeing them. And then the outdoor area, everyone's dancing, and I couldn't really see much of the show, but I just like the venue and the area. And if they're gonna have little, like live entertainment within there, like nightly, oh, it's gonna look so beautiful, especially with Spaceship Earth in the background. I mean, I really like it. I hope everything glows. I hope the buildings glow. I mean, that's my that's one of my favorite things about Epcot right now is how beautiful and bright it is. Before we make our way to go see the fireworks, I wanted to show you inside the hall now that it's clearing out a little bit. And like I said, they're going to have little furniture here. I couldn't see that before, but that looks kind of nice. And I like the different areas. Look at Spaceship Earth right there. I love how you can see the signs are all lit up and uh, Spaceship Earth just lit up behind there and you can see the lights there. It's actually so cool and then as it gets darker the lights just gonna reflect all over. 
the way you see that stage set up and all the music you hear is something that you're actually going to see here at Epcot. Like, that's not just so this little event. Uh, this is literally what it's going to look like once those walls are down. People are just going to be able to walk up, come listen to the music. They're going to have the Encanto show, and then they're going to have just uh, live music at night. I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I feel like Fridays and Saturday nights might be a little bumping. I feel like they got to stop the music early, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited. I think it's, you know, it's going to be interesting. So when it officially opens, those bushes go away and you can just walk all around here. Walk up to where they're having the concert. Like I said, this is just closed off. This is like the uh, soft opening, like the celebration. And I just think it's amazing seeing all of Epcot open up again. Open her up. <laughs> to go with everything they also have a new nighttime show Lum luminous and i think we're gonna stick around and watch it i've seen it once already it definitely pulls on the heartstrings i think it's a good show i mean you know when it comes to the other shows that they've had here in the past i always feel like they use the music to make people like emotional and kind of get sentimental about the show so it's kind of, it's growing on me now I think we're gonna head over to go watch the fireworks. I can't wait, this show is actually really nice. And I'm excited, like I said, I like this show. And uh, tonight's the perfect weather for it. It's so beautiful out. Still a little bit hot, but oh, I'm making it. We're, we're doing it. We're living in Florida like we, you know, we signed up for. <laughs>
look at how beautiful it is now being able to walk out of here. Honestly, I really like what they've done with it. I miss the fountains, but this is such a beautiful walkout. And you can see the center here. They have like that little light show. And there's the new Mickey and Friends. Look at that. Wow, I tell ya. Things are looking good here at Epcot, I think. You guys are seeing a rare treat. Gracie barking because she doesn't realize it's me! I'm home! <laughs> I caught you barking! I did! <laughs> And with that, we are done here. I'm so glad I got Gracie barking on camera. She doesn't bark very often. Like, it, like if somebody knocks on the door, she usually bark like once, like one, one or two or three times. But that's it. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, I had a lot of fun today. I think Communicore, the hall itself, could. I wish they had more to do, and there was a lot to, I couldn't show you guys because it was just a very busy area. But in like in realistic like speaking that's how it's gonna be like you know what I mean once it's open to the guests it's gonna be a very busy area so that's kind of what it's gonna look like uh and I, I like the outdoor uh plaza the little pavilion there the Encanto show is really really nice I think it's gonna draw in mass amounts of crowds and uh hopefully that, that there's just a lot of areas to sit I think that's like the coolest thing uh at night I'd like to see it matched up with Spaceship Earth but I wasn't able to see that tonight because we went and saw the fireworks, which honestly, I, I, the show keeps on growing on me. It's growing on me. And uh, yeah, overall, I had a great day. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about Communicore and Mickey and Friends? And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, so we'll uh, see you next time. Bye. I'm bald.